Welcome back to Midday Live. We are joined by Kelsey Coleman from CMU. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Yeah. So Entrepreneurship Day happened just a couple of days ago, right? Yep. Cool. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so I think it was the 16th annual um, mm -hmm. E-Day is what we call it for short. And it's a really fun event where we bring a guest speaker to talk to all of campus. A bunch of businesses attend. They all have their tables. Uh, we have some students and faculty and staff as well. And then we have a competition for some students who are um, in their early days of entrepreneurship. And it's almost like a Shark Tank-esque kind of feel. <laughs> well, I love, first of all, I love that show. I used to watch it all the time, Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. So what do the students get involved with when they're at this event? Yeah, so they present to around 500 people, which I can't imagine wow. <laughs> how intense that is for them. Um, but there's three students who competed, and the winner was CMU student Matthias. And he was really focusing on a new coffee brand that he created for his nonprofit back in Uganda. It's called Father to the Fatherless. Wow. Yeah. Does so he win anything? Um, he did, yes. So he wins um, some like support and some funds to kind of help build um, his his business. And so, so, it, so it's actually like a real business opportunity almost. It's not just like a fun game. Yeah, yeah, not just a game. I mean, these students are really looking forward to to moving on with whatever product or business that they are pitching that day. So it's a fun fun event, and um, just congratulations to Matthias. He couldn't be here today, but he's super excited. Awesome. Yes. Huge congrats to him. Him. Now, also today, a pretty big day. The Colorado Supreme Court will be at CMU. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this morning they're um, doing two or listening to two oral arguments, and it's open to all the public. So, community members, students, staff, faculty were able to listen in on those. And then, actually, probably right about now, those justices are meeting with a group of student leaders on campus to, to talk and ask questions and hopefully help them see a, a path forward for them to get involved um, more in, in civic society. Yeah, absolutely. How long will they be here, the, the justices? So they're just here for the day. Oh, okay, just for this event? Yep, yep. yep. So I, they do this, it's called Courts and Community. It's a, a, a project that they do all over Colorado and they take different oral arguments to different high schools and then sometimes, we're, like us, we're fortunate that they chose um, Colorado Mesa University. It's the first time ever that they've been here. So it's great for CMU and it's great for Grand Junction. Yeah, absolutely. That was going to be my next question is, have they ever come? So this is the first time. The first time. What have you heard some talk about people being excited? Really, like, what does this mean for CMU? Yeah, I think it's a huge deal. You know, I think one, it means that Grand Junction over here in Western Colorado is, is getting attention, getting noticed, and um, the courts and our, you know, justice system is saying, hey, we want to show up and get Western Colorado involved in the process and show them really how it goes, how it works, and get the next generation moving up into to some of those roles. And who knows, maybe there'll be some CMU alum uh, as a justice here in the future. <laughs> well, of course, you know, we hope for that always, right? Yeah. So also today, man, there's a lot of things going on. Isn't oh, <laughs> April and May are just insane at CMU. Well, yeah. Now that you're saying May, when is graduation? I'm just thinking that off the top of my head. Yeah, May 20th, Saturday, May 20th. That's coming up. Congrats to all yeah. those graduates. But really quickly, also today, there is a baseball game with some fireworks, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's May the 4th be with you. So that's the it theme. It is May 4th. I didn't <laughs> yes. make any May 4th jokes, so no. Uh, now's your time. <laughs> <laughs> now's the chance. Uh, yeah, so tonight at 6 at Saplesio Field, our baseball team will be playing uh, against Adams State, and it's the fireworks game, which is really fun for families, um, and of course the students and faculty and staff and everyone just love coming and watching the game, and then once the sun goes down and the game ends, the fireworks show is just such a really fun fun culmination to, to what's been happening here this spring. Nice. Is that baseball game free to anyone or do people have to pay to go into the baseball um, game? There's a small fee for, okay. yeah, for community members. Um, kids under, I think it's 12 or free. Okay. Um, and then for faculty, staff, and students, um, they can get in using their math card. Awesome. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for coming this month, and we look forward to talking to you next month yeah. as well. Thank you so oh, much. Of course. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back after this.